everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that I haven't done in a really long time, and that is a Sephora and Ulta haul. I recently picked up some new stuff when they were both having sales like a few weeks ago and figured since it's a pretty big pile of things sitting over here that I would film a little haul and show you all what I got. I really haven't used much of them, if at all yet, so I think if you would like any sort of like first impression type videos, just leave a comment down below or or full review video leave a comment down below and I will make sure to get that filmed but this video is just a really like classic style what did I buy type haul so I hope that you are interested in that and if you are please keep watching so first up is Sephora and I picked out this Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray I have the smaller version of this and the sprayer like broke and like totally like fell apart like it's not fixable and so I am a crazy person and decided to buy the bigger version to be able to use this and then refill it with my other one because the sprayer broke. I know that is like probably the worst decision and like thing you could do but I just really wanted to be able to use it in its actual packaging so I was like I'll buy the bigger ones use this down and refill it and then it'll be fine so I don't know it sounds ridiculous but I am really like the time that I did use that before it broke I really enjoyed it so I'm really excited to have this and like I mentioned I'm back to work so anything that could kind of keep my makeup on without breaking down like throughout the day which I've noticed has happened this past week I think will be ideal so going to be using that more I also picked out this rare beauty lip cream I saw this in a video somewhere at some point and it's been like in my loves list in my Sephora like cart for the longest time. It's a very like burnt orange shade. I have nothing like it in my collection and then I also remember like loving how this like lip cream applied because it was just very like light and airy almost on the lips and so the sale came up and I was like I'm gonna get that and this is my first purchase from Rare Beauty so very excited. I actually haven't worn it on my lips yet so excited to see how that works. And then I also picked up after seeing some reviews on YouTube because that's why I purchase everything that I purchase. I picked up the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. I just saw some really good reviews. One specifically from Kathleen Lights where she was just raving about this so saw it and picked it up because I figured why not and I'm panning a foundation right now. I just finished one, so just want to bring another one back into my collection. And since I heard so much good stuff about this one, it is the winner. I also got another one of the Seven Virtues fragrances. I picked up Vanilla Woods this time, which is more of like your classic vanilla. People love the smell of vanilla. Like it's just a universal scent, I feel like. And maybe I'm like making myself a little kid again by wearing this. But I don't think I am because I feel like this is just like an elevated vanilla. The description says, Vanilla Woods is intoxicating with a dash of fresh pear, a big rose heart note, and the benefits of a long-lasting dry down of a organic Madagascar vanilla and gourmand caramel infused with warm amber. That sounds amazing. I really like this. I'm glad I have it now in my collection. And then I also picked up a 100 point perk. I got this Bite Mascara. I actually forgot that I got this 100, the same bite mascara 100 point perk I guess when I purchased some things back in December so it's just gonna go into my collection as you know a backup mascara to use when I am ready to have a new mascara so that is everything that I picked up from Sephora and then this big pile over here is everything that I picked up from Ulta the first being another fragrance I have a bit of a well, I don't know what we'd call it, an obsession right now with perfumes. I just keep buying them. Uh, I'm actually almost finished a perfume though. That You'll so hopefully see that in my next empty. So like, right? It's okay because I'm going through them. I don't know. It's crazy. But this one smells amazing. This is the Dona Dana Born in Roma perfume. And the description says, this is a modern haute couture floriental. Three qualities of jasmine bring a luxurious femininity that is blended with vanilla bourbon, the most expensive extract in the world. It smells freaking fabulous. I love it. So happy it's in my collection. And then I picked up a couple makeup products. So I mentioned, I guess, 
probably, and you've heard me say it in my project pans, and also in my latest empties video, I recently finished up a tinted day cream that I've been using as like a base. And so I mentioned while I wasn't going to repurchase that one, I really enjoyed using a tinted day cream. I liked like having a lighter base option. And so I figured that I'd go out into the marketplace and kind of see what's out there in terms of like tinted day creams. And I did that and I remembered ColourPop's Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tint and Moisturizer was a big hit for a little while. And so I decided to pick it up and try it out and see if I like it. It was on sale and it's not that expensive to begin with, so I figured it couldn't hurt. And then another thing that I've obviously been hearing about for forever but have never purchased is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. So I decided to grab one of these. I, oh, you can't really see the swatch. I don't know if this is gonna be a little too light for me. I guess I'll have to see when I put it on my face. I do really enjoy the scent of it. It smells amazing. I don't think I've like ever really purchased much of anything from Physicians Formula, so we'll see how this goes. I know people love this product, so hopefully I enjoy it as well, but figured it was on sale. It's been something I've been thinking about getting for a while, and I was like, I'm just gonna, gonna purchase it. My mom's getting into her later, later 60s, and the woman looks amazing for her age. She's very tiny, a very petite woman, and she has like, pretty great skin. I never did any like cosmetic procedures, no Botox or anything, just really did like great skincare. And I was talking to her about it and she said like the big thing for her, cause we saw her sisters at my sister-in-law's baby shower and my mom looks great. Like my aunts look amazing too, but like my mom looks great. And so I was talking to her about it and I was, and she said like her big thing is like they never wore sunscreen and she started wearing sunscreen every day I think she started at age 35. I was like, all right, well, the sooner the better, I guess. And so I picked up this Kula Classic Face Sunscreen, and you're probably all mad at me because I think I just made it pretty obvious that like sunscreen, while I do wear it, has not been enough of my routine. Like it's not an everyday occurrence and it needs to be for sure. And I guess that's like my recommendation to all of you as well. Like make it an everyday occurrence if you can. This is SPF 50. I'm really excited to incorporate this into my morning skincare routine. Hopefully there's no pilling because I know that sometimes happens with facial sunscreens. So we will see and I will let you know how makeup layers on top of it. And we'll go from there, but I'm really excited to have it and kind of live, live my mom's uh, beauty advice, I guess. The rest of this stuff's kind of like a hodgepodge of like uh, body and products for the most part, but I can go, there's just two brands here. So I think I'm gonna go by brand. The first is Tree Hut. So I picked up this Tropic Glow Firming Sugar Scrub. Love to have a scrub in the shower. I recently got the Tahitian Vanilla one from Tree Hut and it's in my shower right now, but it doesn't hurt to have a backup scrub. And then I also picked up the Tree Hut moisturizing shave oils. I have one in my shower right now. It's the first one I've ever tried and I'm absolutely loving it. The problem is, is you fly through it, but I really, really like this for shaving my legs. So I got the Tahitian Vanilla Bean, which is what's in my shower right now. And then I also picked up watermelon because I thought that would be fun for summer. So grab those. And then when I was shopping for those, I also saw this Tree Hut Post Shave Soothing Mist to help prevent like itchy skin and ingrown hairs. And I don't know if you've heard me talk about it, but like ingrown hairs are the bane of my existence. So decided to try something like this out to just do a quick spray on my legs after I get out of the shower. Hopefully it works, I will let you know. But speaking of ingrown hairs, I also picked up this ingrown serum from Truly. They were also on sale and I've been very curious about the Truly brand. I've seen so many ads on Instagram and Ulta has it, so I was like, all right, well, I'll go through Ulta and get like my points. So I picked up this Kuka Concentrate Ingrown Serum. It has lavender, tea tree, jojoba, primrose, and antimicrobial boost. So we'll see if this helps. I don't know. I'm kind of just experimenting with a lot of different brands to see if any of that helps. And then I also picked up this Vegan Collagen Anti-Aging Face Serum for tighter, younger, plump skin. This has vegetable collagen, organic coconut, retinol, and vitamin C boost. So super excited to try this out. Love the color of the serum. I just think it's super fun. So I have a vitamin C serum I'm currently using, but once I finish that up, 
this will get moved, I think, into the rotation. So excited to see how that goes. Kind of excited to experiment with the Truly brand in general because, like I said, I've been seeing all these ads but haven't purchased anything from them. And then this last one was kind of just a whim purchase. I saw this thing, laughed at the name. It's Buns of Glory. It's a smoothing butt butter, tighten and glow. So I was like, that's hilarious. And then I, I brought it up because it had five star reviews and I was like scrolling through the reviews and they were all saying like how amazing this product was. And so then I was like, oh man, now I gotta try it. Let's be real, like we all have, I mean, if you don't, good for you, but like a lot of us I feel like have some cellulite on the back of our legs. And so I figured this would be something to try out. Like, I, and I'm not like immune to like obviously how you're gonna get rid of it if you can right like if it's not genetic is through working out and eating well which i i do make an effort to like i go to orange theory twice a week i run i lift outside of that but like my life's a lot busier than it than it was a few years ago and so i do have a little bit less time to do all that and so if i can have anything to help me out i'm gonna try it out i was laughing about the title of it the reviews were great and now i'm going I'm gonna end up using it. So I haven't actually even tried it yet. One of the things that they did say was like the actual cream is super thick, which I think you can probably tell from like what's in here. So it'll be interesting. I think I'll probably just use it like when I'm out of the shower. This recommends like twice a day, but ain't nobody got time for that. And that's it, that's everything. I had a lot of fun picking out some new stuff. Like I said, I haven't really dove into using much of this yet so i should probably do that and and start seeing what i like and what i don't but i hope you guys enjoyed getting to chat through some of my new products with me if you did please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will catch you in my next video thanks bye